courses, uh, materials for teaching and learning, which are freely available online. And you can recognise something as an open educational resource or an OER because it will have a Creative Commons licence. And this licence um, gives the conditions under which that resource can be used or reused or repurposed. There's lots of benefits for using OERs, but um, one of the main benefits that we found on this project is that by talking about open educational resources, at the same time we're talking about the way in which staff use digital environments for their teaching and learning. So we've been able to talk about the way staff use the internet and, and their digital literacies. It's been an ideal opportunity for, for, for bringing digital literacies into the main discussion areas when it comes to teaching and learning and that's something that's been very valuable. I think one of the main challenges of working with OER is actually the benefit in reverse. It's how do you how do you make sure that staff are comfortable working in digital environments? How do you make sure that they uh, have the confidence and the competence to know how to find a repository and how to search through it? And it comes down to things as basic as file management and the way in which you just manage your your online aspects of teaching and learning. So the challenge is to use OER as a reason and a strategic approach for supporting digital literacies for both staff and for students. Um, one of the challenges with OER has been how do you get individual staff to, to engage with the philosophy and the practice of open education and quite often there is resistance to the idea of what people see as giving information away for free. So what I think is really interesting is to, is to create opportunities where, whereby staff can talk on a one-to-one -one basis and say what would make a difference to them, what, what would make them feel more comfortable with the idea of engaging with open education and with making not all of their resources but just maybe some of their resources freely available under a Creative Commons licence. So the question that I would like to ask is um, what would make you feel comfortable with engaging with open education, with making some of your resources available under a Creative Commons licence? Uh, please do feel free to, to get in touch with me uh, for further conversations around these areas.